hey youtube welcome back to my channel it's lucy Zimana. so in today's video i'm here with my cousin he's very tall what's your name king gold okay well king gold um very quiet right now because everybody's sleeping and we decided to we decided to shoot this video right now because our brain cells are not working properly <laughs> I'm joking. So we decided to shoot this video right now because I just thought like since we've already slept during the day Like why can't we just like go ahead and do the video because it doesn't hurt to just like go ahead and answer your questions about The country Burundi and yeah, like I'm flexing, you know Put some respect on my name Go ahead and subscribe down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button share like and comment Okay comment if you like comment down below okay i really want to know where you guys are you know like you hit zone you know but okay okay but like i'm getting there just try. i'm gonna embarrass myself and say that i did this makeup real fast like look at the lips uh oh my edges like what oh uh, so without further ado this time let's get into the video i got a few questions from this girl and it just reminded me to do a video um for you guys regarding Burundi because she just really hit the point you know she just really hit the brain cells and so i was like you know what let me go ahead and do this because she got really good questions about Burundi and i think it would be really good to educate you guys about it i know that i'm not that educated but i've like learned a few things the past few days i've been here that i you know i'm you know i appreciate knowing and i hope you guys can know before coming here so she was like hi i am planning on i'm planning on going to burundi too i'll be going alone and i don't know what to expect so the first line let's stop there or should i keep reading and then I'll, that's gonna be too much okay so um so going alone i suggest that you don't do that especially if you're new you know like don't do that that's just the biggest mistake you could ever make and you need to be with at least you know a person you could trust a person you look up to a person that's older than you a person that is mature and understands Burundi more than you um if you don't got family here then come with somebody you don't don't do not come alone if you you know if that's the, the only option you have then you can go ahead and do that expense life for yourself but yeah coming alone is definitely not something that um i would do you know now that i know the things that i know because i actually did come alone but the thing is like the difference is that i'm not alone like i have somewhere to stay and um yeah like and um you know i got people to help me family members and things like that okay so um she was like do you have any recommendations and so that's what i just literally said don't come alone okay you're going to be that's just gonna be a lot of things i'm gonna get into it okay it's like a long a long a long conversation okay all right guys so and then she goes ahead and asks the second question as you know the category of recommendations she was like um things such as do you recommend i carry american dollars or boon friends i recommend you carry american dollars because it's like you have it there already so why not you know take it because it's like higher over here when you bring it um so yeah definitely suggest that can you know american you know usd cash is good um and come with at least 5k if you can come with 10k i'm telling you you're a baller then you can go ahead and take a hotel with you you know by yourself you know like they can rip you off and you don't gotta worry about anything if you come alone but if you come alone and you bring 1k i'm telling you that trip better be fast my guy like you gotta off it off it off it and go make more okay so i'm trying to say is this um come with at least 5k you know that's a lot of money but if you're not spending so much time here come with at least 2k okay you know 1k 500 or 1k um you know it depends on how long you're staying if it's three months then 5k definitely will work best for you um okay because okay guys once you come you then realize like the calculations you actually like get to know okay yo, i should have came with more or like i probably came with more it's best to come with more than less because then you don't have to you're not gonna regret you know you're not gonna be bothering people over there like oh is there anything learn? you know what i'm saying yeah all right the third question is this she was like uh and girl if you're watching this comment down below okay because i'm answering you and other people okay 
So um, she then was like, did y'all get co a COVID test before Burundi Wait, let you in? Yeah, um, I actually went through a lot of process and I thank my uncle for helping me with that. Like if you don't got the their visa, um, like their passport, like Burundi passport, then you're gonna have to pay like 100, uh, 190. So it's 100 for COVID-19, like USD, 100 COVID-19 test. And then 94, um, I could say ID, like your identity, you know, it's like a, just a normal card. And then when you know, police catch you, they'll be able to like look at it and be like, okay, yeah, you're legal to live here, you're legal to be here. So it was like 190 USD. So you gotta, you know, have that on you. If you got family here that could help you as well, after you paid that much money, you could um, like apply for their passport, Burundian passport, so that next time you come in, you don't have to pay that much. You don't even have to pay anything, you know, but I think you have, you do have to pay for COVID um, if that's still around the time you come back, so. And it's not that bad. It's actually just like, not in your nose. Wait, is that your nose? It was my, hold on. It was actually my, both of my cheeks. It was both of my cheeks, cause it didn't go in my nose. I just remember them going in my nose when I was in Canada, but it was just actually my cheeks. Like you just open my, your mouth and they like just that's it and it's like two seconds and you're done so don't worry about them like going all through your brain cells and getting the last brain cell that you had saving you from the amount of stress that you were going through in you know wherever you are i don't know how uh this is like the fourth question or fifth i'm not sure but i'm gonna stop counting at this point i'm gonna be like the next question okay so the next question is she's like oh and did y'all catch a taxi to get a bush buddha because that's exactly where i'm going and um i actually got um a ride from my uncle but if you don't got family here then you do need to catch a taxi there's no many taxis there so just catch the taxi and i'm i'm telling you if you're by your by yourself they're gonna like literally cut a lot of money off of you and you'll obviously not have the Burundian currency i'm sorry i was looking down damn um yeah you have to catch a taxi okay and i'm pretty sure because you know they're at literally at the airport they know the people that are coming out they got bag so they will rip you off like they will actually rip you off they'll abuse you abuse no, not abuse you abuse your cash okay like i gotta be very honest with you unless if it's like a good samaritan then they're like you know what like since they're new let me be nice let me be very nice but you know um sometimes like it's really you gotta see how life is you know it's like but yeah i'm not this is everywhere basically this is not just wounded but it's like anywhere in africa they actually like you gotta bargain with them things like that um the next question is happiness was like i'm sorry i'm asking so much questions honestly these questions are enough do not worry about it i think you should have asked more that were in your head but it's okay but i will answer the things that you didn't ask that i know that people will definitely want to know so she was it wasn't a question but she was like i never traveled outside the u.s before and i'm really nervous but i'll take any suggestions or things you noticed or learn or, or learn from the uh from leaving canada or getting wounded thank you thank you very much um so i want to say that i've learned so much um i believe that it was an honor to have a family that i could like meet and they can help me in terms of like living the cost of living the cost of living is cheap but it's cheap when you have you um have a place to stay that's that you're not paying for such as like build, you know you can build your own place and just you know for vacation just be chilling there but before you've done that and you're like new and everything i'm telling you you're coming here basically to have fun and spend money that's it to make a long story short i just want to say living in africa in general is cheap but your money can run out so quick if you don't have any other support in uh, terms of saving. So you like take taxis every go, you you know pay for you know basically everything by yourself. You're by yourself. It's easy to run out. But if you got your own place to stay, um, like you got a family member and things like that, like trust me, money ends. Okay, it's hard to make it, but easy to spend it. You know what I'm saying? And that's like literally everywhere. So. Moon is a really, really good like good place to be okay um i just don't know how to express it any more i just i love it okay, i love it i love it i love it um 
I'm very happy to be here because I think it's, it's helped me enough to just see life in a different perspective because you can like I don't want to get into detail by detail but it's pretty live here you know um, everybody's hustling in you know in any way shape or form and um, they're really hustling for the dollar and you know this just really helped me improve my way of I guess emotionally spiritually physically like it's really touched me because when I'm in Canada I'm like very lazy I'd say to like work and everything and the fact that I can see like you know a boy or girl younger than me just selling for you know food on the street to like you know in order to like feed their family it just shows me that I've been lacking so I need to like get my mind straight and begin hustling because it's honestly not simple over here um especially if you're a lower class um it's very not it's very not simple so my plan is to definitely live here and i don't want to get into detail on what i want to do but it's definitely my dream to help my country um as omurundi um so yeah, that's definitely why I like living here. The weather, mm, it's very sunny, but not too sunny. So, like it's sunny with wind. It's really good, you know. You know, you you can keep your skin the way it is. Normally, when the sun is setting, like that is so beautiful. Like there's mountains and you got places to go. You know, like mm, it's amazing, honestly. So, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you're Burundian, comment down below a flag, okay? I'm wearing this for a reason. Shout out to Jeremy Jeremiah um, from Kanda Music. He really did gift me this, like, what? A what? And I'm going to be selling these, by the way. Um, so if you're in Canada or the US, hit me up. I'll be selling these and bringing it to you guys low price you got me okay and many more other things if you're not from Burundi, you can comment down your, your flag nigerian or wherever you're from honestly i don't like your flags because i don't know them yeah if you guys haven't already go ahead and subscribe once again like this video and comment down below any other thing you have in uh, mind if you got any questions in mind you can go ahead i'll answer i don't gotta make another video unless if they're too much then I'll just like go ahead and make a video but if they're not I'll comment and honestly will like text from there or you can hit me up on my Instagram it's right in the description down below and we'll just like chat you know talk about um, whatever we'll talk about all right uh, Klingo thank you so much for helping me um, thank you I appreciate it so guys have a beautiful a day. I'll see you guys in my next vlogs because I'll be coming on banners, okay?